Hi there. So um, I'm here today with the uh, MacBook Pro with the M1 chip and it is the base model with 16 GB and what we're going to do is going to put it through spaces on Excel. Now I've done the exact same video for the MacBook Air M1 as well. Uh, link will be in the description and what we found over there was that it was able to handle 100,000 records just fine but on 500,000 records it was a little iffy, you know, it would crash uh, if you did too much with it. So we'll start this video with a file that has 50, 000, uh, 500,000 records. And uh, let's just open it up and see how, how it goes. So that's Excel coming up for us, opens up in a reasonable amount of time. There we go. And uh, basically it's a dummy file. And uh, in the end of the video, I'll show you where I got the file from so you can compare it in your own system. But basically it is um, 500,000 records. And instantly what I'm gonna do is convert this into a table like so and yeah and that's done and uh, of course this will allow me to do you know sorting very quickly so let's just do that right now i will do an ascending sort on the countries let's see done so that's pretty fast uh, descending is done so yeah that's working out quite fine i will do a little filtering here so let's just select one country only uh, let's deselect this and select algeria let's see how long that takes there we go now we've got algeria I deselect this, go down the road and take Canada. And yep, so the filtering is happening quite nicely. And uh, let me just do a select all again. There we go, they're all there now. Uh, then I'll go to a numbers field, uh, let's say total revenue. And uh, let's do a sort ascending on this thing now. And it's done. And I will also add now a filter, which is uh, going to be a greater than filter, right? So greater than, let's say 500,000. And uh, if I apply that, uh, you see down here that it has picked about uh, 310, 730 out of uh, the records. And uh, because it is still sorted, so now you see that this column is starting at 500,000. And if I do a sort descending, um, that might, well, didn't take very long at all. And we see that as well. By the way, this is the point at which the M1 MacBook Air with the 8 GB, uh, and that's in the other video, and the uh, link is in the description. The, the Air gave up at this point, couldn't handle this at all. But this is handling it quite nicely. I will uh, basically now get rid of the filter and uh, select all again. So that's done. And now let's do some formulas, right? So this is the table, so it's, the formulas are fairly easy to add. I'll just go like this and um, this column plus this column for starters. And if you are familiar with tables, you know that this formula has been applied not just in this particular uh, row, but in all the rows down below. So it's doing it for all of the 500,000 records. So that's a lot of uh, calculations to be done. And as you can see, it handles it quite nicely. Let's do a few more. So I'll do this plus this divided by this minus, I'm just, you know, making it a bit more complicated. And let's see how that goes. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's just fine. It's a meaningless number, of course, but it is calculating it very nicely. And if I now change one of the numbers in there, because it depends on all of these to 100, it recalculates, no problem. I calculate um, to, you know, do this and it recalculates all the numbers as well. I just change something else, somewhere else and that. So bottom line, this file is being handled quite well by the pro something that the air could not handle. Now I have run this before, by the way, and occasionally I do get the beach ball. That tends to happen if I do a lot of filters on a lot of uh, columns and then try to work with it. Then it does tend to have problems. But as you can see for basic formulas and, and you know basic uh, work, uh, half a million records is fine. So we'll close this here and we'll move on to the file with one million records next. So let's just close this, I don't need to save it. And uh, there we go. And now I will open the file with a million records. So this is twice as big and let's see how that goes. So the file comes up again. We'll do the exact same things again. So give you a little sense of, of uh, how well the uh, M1 can handle it on the Pro machine. So it comes up, takes a little longer, but loads all right, no problem there. And again, I will do the same thing. I will do insert table and that makes it a table. Yep, that part is fine. And by the way, I can apply colors and you know they happen instantly. So you can see there's no lag. The system is uh, perfectly fine. Uh, let's leave it over to blue maybe. And uh, again, I'll do the country sort, just like I did for the previous file. Ascending should get me from A to Z, taking a little longer, but it does happen. And descending will get me from Z to A. Zimbabwe is not the first one, so that's okay. Let's also do a little filtering. So I pick Algeria, let's see how long that takes. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, it's definitely took a little bit longer, but you know, 
uh, reasonable amount of time given that this is one million rows here. So it's, it's a huge data set. Uh, also got Bhutan in there. So this works quite nicely. I will do the select all again. So take the filter off of this. And again, we'll go to our, uh, let's go to unit cost this time and do an ascending sort on this. And then let's see how long that takes done. And then I do a filter. Let's just do uh, less than or equal to, I don't know. Um, I have no idea what the range is, but 300 maybe. And uh, yeah, press enter. Well, that seems to have worked. Let me do a descending sort to make sure the unit costs. I think I might have done it wrong because, oh no, the filter is working because I've got, uh, you know, 750, 313 out of the total million records have been filtered out and uh, the filter and the costs are all below 300. So you can see that. If I change this to 500, press enter, then I should get a few more rows. And I do, now it's 833511. And uh, so that's working quite nicely as well. Um, now let's just do a few extra formulas, just like we did in the other file. So I will do select all here, just remove the filter, because it doesn't like too many filters. I mean, I've mentioned this before, if I were to apply filters on three, four, five columns and then work with the sheet in that, that way, then yes, it will give me the beach ball. I've experienced this before when I was playing around preparing this video. So right now I'm just showing you, uh, you know, the extent to which this will work just fine. But let's add some formulas, which is more realistic for an Excel file anyways, right? So this plus this, and remember, this formula has to be repeated one million times because it's, it's all the way down because it's a table. So it has been applied everywhere and it is working perfectly fine. Um, let's add one more. Let's see, is equal to this minus, I don't know, this minus, this multiplied by this divided by this. I hope that works. Okay, so that's a big formula. I pressed enter and it's done. So all of these now are formulas, right? So now I'm getting the beach ball for the first time, but it recovers quickly, no problem there. Uh, because I've added about, uh, so it's 1 million rows. So I basically what I've done is all of this was data. I've added 2 million formulas to it, right? So there are 1 million in this row. Uh, in this column rather, and another 1 million in this column. So there are 2 million formulas applied on this sheet right now. And uh, yeah, I'm fine. There's nothing problematic so far. Again, the formatting works, you know, no issues over there. Let's try the, uh, the filter again now with the additional uh, formulas added in because that makes it a bit more complicated. So let's just do a sort first. So I will do an ascending sort on this column. That should give me uh, A first. Let's see. I did press ascending. Ah, the beach ball, right? So now with all these formulas to recalculate, because you know now when it moves the rows around, it has to move around all of those formulas as well. Previously, all the data was non-formula and was constant, so the sorting was easier. Now it has to move everything around when it does that recalculate. And so, yeah, now I'm getting the beach ball. So probably I'm hitting the limits of how far uh, this will go. So we'll wait it out a little bit, but in the meanwhile, let me just show you a couple of other things. So this is uh, the base model of the uh, MacBook Pro, and it has 16 GB of memory. Now, a lot of people think, you know, this is memory dependent. If, you know, if I had 32 GB, it would have worked, but let me just go to the activity monitor. And as you can see, the memory situation is fine. I mean, Excel is not responding right now. It shows here as well but it's using less than one GB. And more importantly, I have a lot of spare memory use, right? So out of the 16 GB, I'm only using 11.57. So the memory is not the issue. Uh, if it is stuck right now, and if you've got the beach ball, it's because, you know, this is as far as, as, as Excel can calculate on this machine. And, and so it's more of a processing, raw processing power issue. Now, I don't generally work with million sort of uh, long files. So, you know, maybe you guys, uh, some of you guys are watching this have done so, so you will have a better handle on whether uh, it's a fair test to put on, or am I putting too much pressure on it? Because two million formulas, I mean, that's a lot. And, and, and a million rows is a lot as well. But yeah, that seems to be the limit. But just before we had done this, everything was working fine. So hopefully this gives you a little idea of how the, the pro handles the uh, Excel. Uh, and by the way, this is the native version of Excel, right? So people sometimes ask that as well. Is it the Intel version running through Rosetta? No. It is a universal app, and so it is native to the M1 Mac. Uh, Microsoft did that pretty quickly after the re release of the new chip, and so this is as good as it's gonna get at this point of time. Also, right at the end, and clearly this is not gonna work out, uh, but right at the end, let me also show you one more thing. I'm gonna show you the website from which I have taken these data sets, right? This is a website called E4Excel, and they have these download samples. 
and uh, if you scroll down below, this is the file, uh, rather this one, the one million file. This is the file that I'm using right now, uh, and it is in Excel. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because you know you can load the same file on your systems if you are a heavy power user of Excel, and you can then compare the performance of this machine with your current machine and get a sense of whether you know it'll handle your workloads um, or not. And so hopefully this will help you to make up your mind about whether the pro can do the job that you wanted to do on Excel. Uh, last check over here, nope, the beach ball is still here, so we're gonna leave it at that. And um, yeah, that's our Excel test on the, uh, on the M1 Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys perhaps in another video soon. Thank you for watching.